Welcome to PlanMyPatch.com, home of the free interactive vegetable garden and allotment planner. My name is Mark and I'm just going to take a couple of moments to show you how to use the planning tool. Within the site, click onto the Planner tab and then click onto the Start, the Plan My Patch Vegetable Garden and Allotment Planner link. Shouldn't take long to load. And there we go. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to log in as a user. Of course, you can register onto the system for free. And if you want to, you can actually just click onto the Create New Patch whenever you need to, even without having to register. Of course, one thing I would say is if you do register, we'll be able to then inform you about all the latest functionality and features we'll be adding to the uh, planning tool itself, which is actually currently in beta. So I click onto the Create New Patch button. I give it a patch name to identify it with and some dimensions. And then I click onto the Create My Patch button. So in my back garden, I've got a patch of earth, just a plain patch of earth, about two and a half meters by a meter. It's approximately about that. And now what I can do is I can start dropping objects into it. So vegetables, herbs, salads, beans, squashes. Or alternatively, I can just go onto A to Z and zoom whatever I want to. So we'll start off. To select a vegetable, we just click onto the icon and then just move your mouse into the patch itself and it will automatically lead to the next appropriate place. So we'll just drop some chilies in. And we'll put some parsnips in as well. So in this case, I don't actually want them to be there, so I'll just undo that. I'll put them to the side. We'll put some potatoes in. Now one thing I would say with Plant My Patch is what we do is we actually illustrate the planting distance, that's the space between the plants themselves, and also the spacing distance between other rows. We actually enforce this because it's very tempting to cram as many vegetables and other items into your patch as possible. But if you don't give it the appropriate planting and spacing distances, you're actually prohibiting the plant from flourishing or giving you the best crop you possibly can. drop some leeks in. And we can see here that the actual mouse cursor has changed onto a kind of no entry sign which tells me I can't drop it into that area. So we'll select something else, some leeks, and there is the patch done. I can now close, I can start, and now we can see my patch is available. So what I can do is at a later date is I can then come back to the site, authenticate using the my registered username and password. Click on view and there is my patch. We'll just close out as one of the things that we do on Plan My Patch is we actually provide a timeline and show the appropriate milestones for each of your vegetables. So with the chilies which I've got here is we can see the planting distances, uh, the spacing distances and the number of items I can have. Likewise for my leeks, not only shows me what I can do when I have to sow outdoors but I can purchase them if I want to from a garden centre and it demonstrates when I need to actually sow them outside. Including our, our potato. And that's Plan My Patch in literally just a couple of moments. Thank you for watching and remember to register and keep checking the site for new functionality as we add it. Bye!